Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Star Trek Armada 3A Call to Arms, a game that I haven't had a lot of time to record recently but played quite a little bit of. This is the Dominion side of the playthrough and without any further ado let us begin. I apologize for taking such long breaks between them, but uh, between these episodes, but I had little choice. I had quite a lot of things to take care of. I'm actively looking for a job and all of that worthless nonsense. Because unfortunately, the YouTube could not be my job at the moment. I'm hoping for it to become that though. Someday. <laughs> Someday. Within two or three years. What a steady increase to uh, of the subscribers from, and I understand that a number of them came specifically for Star Trek, which uh, I thank you for, and I apologize for not releasing content as frequently as I as I would like and as frequently as I should have. Well, we're back. Let's see. Uh, we got this troop-producing planet, which is... Uh, is there anything? No, it's got nothing. Therefore, it's an industrial specialized world. Um, Construction see. work is complete. And there's quite a few ships there. A few there. And this is the first fleet. Awaiting your command. Yes. Alright. And I got a few... Oh no, that's a... All decks stand oh no, that is a Galore. I thought that was a Keldon. Let's see, how many... It's only got one capital ship, the first fleet. What about the second fleet? The second fleet has got two, I believe. Yeah, you can you can see that here. There's, when I signed, there's Dukat. The of alliance with yes, yes, yes. I pledge to my people that all Damn, this guy talks a lot. Alright, I need to upgrade this. Right now my economy is not doing all too well, but one thing I've learned and one thing that I find very important is that you must absolutely establish trade on all the worlds you control. So, Federation influence, I don't like that. Uh, but, let's see, how's our research doing? We need to improve the armor of our ships. The cool thing is... Uh, the interesting thing is that uh, even though the weapon upgrades are only for specific ships, and that is your faction specific ships, so these don't up these and these don't apply to any ships that you board, with the exception of the Jalaxu, which is cool, but I suppose they're going to edit that in the next patch. I mean, I do believe they're coming out with the next patch most recently, but I'm going to hold off on obtaining it because this might screw with my saved game. Or maybe it won't, who knows. Also, I just realized that I didn't put any resource extractors here. How very silly of me. And... What did I just say? Construction work Trade. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that's right, they're coming up with a new patch for this game, and uh, I don't believe that uh, I'll be getting it immediately, because it might screw with my saved games with this playthrough. So, for as long as this playthrough lasts, I am going to keep the old stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see what we got. That's three minutes of me ra rambling. Um, hmm, do well, we do have space for one more capital ship. Do we want one of those? No, 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 no. Decisions, decisions. This planet is. Oh, yeah, this planet is also filled up. Yeah, UA467 is giving us quite a bit of trade. Which is always good. Our scientists have developed a new technology. Gonna get even more trade. Construction work is complete. Construction work is complete. Alright, now um more latinum is required. Yeah, let's just get let's just get some ships in here. More latinum is required. The good thing is I got so many shipyards here that all three of these ships are building pretty much simultaneously, or at least they should Our be. Death is glory to the founders. There we go, there's one. We are prepared. Yes, I want these. The Gortan class. Oh my god, this ship is amazing. And it's uh, one of those things where 
I found that with a whole fleet of these ships, you can take out an enemy star base with minimal casualties. Because normally there are only two ways of taking over of taking out enemy star base. Either with a fleet that is ten times this, and you're gonna lose pretty much five quarters uh, five six of that fleet. Alternatively, you can get the siege ships, which are these little buggers, the Darheel class, in the case of Cardassians, but the problem is, you know, that's another investment and you have to specifically get fleet supply for that and, you know, it's quite a bit. Alternatively, you can get these suckers. Now what they can do is an energy drainer. It disables enemy abilities, disables engines, and disables weapons. So the star base is pretty much dead in the water while you pelt it with all sorts of ammunition. And that is amazing. Which is why I'm going to get more of these ships, and which is why I'm also going to get this as soon as I can. Because this upgrades the breed ships. <coughs> In the meantime, you lot join up with this fleet. Adjusting course. Uh, let's see. For too long. Hey, do can't have a look at what the hell is going on on this planet, whatever. Kobliad. Some of these things are difficult to pronounce. I wonder why they named them like this. More green. Always welcome, always a good sight, especially for a Dominion player. More Latinum is required. Reporting for duty. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna build a uh, star base here. I still didn't. Why do I have a? Why do I have a thing here? Hmm. Now, their influence is overpowering mine, which is not good, which is why I'm going to build the indoctrination centers, which are basically propaganda centers. Alright. Alternatively, I can destroy their propaganda centers, or the, their equivalent thereof. Wait, what? Wait, what? Two of them? Seek them out and destroy them. Oh my god, this is like a dream come true. If I can capture these... Ducat's fleet will be unstoppable. Focus fire. Good, 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 good. Oh, no, 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 come on. Yes! Alright. You get the hell back. Get the... Heck, get the hell back. We destroyed the other one, though. This is weird, I, I did ready. not know that this world was unoccupied. I might, but I suppose this is also good for me. See, this is a... This is a... I don't know. Oh, right, I don't need to. Oh, but wait a minute, that means the... what's it? That means that I got the intersection here. And oh my god, this planet is quite influential. Klingons again? No, good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Sir? Do I have repair stations anywhere? Construction work is complete. You know what, yeah, just go here, and I'm gonna build one. Repair stations are bloody important. 
ask for... Oh dear. This only one of these suckers, yeah. Lead us. Make haste. Our victory will become inevitable. Wait a minute, which ship do I have? Alright. Oh, that cling we're cling on what's it? Dagger Squadron. Oh, that's alright. Alright, let's see. Uh, so we have unexpectedly acquired a new planet. Unexpectedly because I had no idea this one was abandoned. Or at least not taken. And we have acquired Standing by. An another Jalaxu. And a joint Ducat, which is always a good thing. All decks stand ready. Uh, okay, now, please stand remember by. the numbers here. 143 faced Polaron damage. And I'm going to do a little test. So this upgrades the Polaron things. What's it? Cannons. Damage. Thing. Enemy scouts. Well, scouts never hurt anybody. Let's see, what's my income? Okay, all the planets are in the plus. That is always a good thing. Oh, now it's just trade between these two because every single other one has a trade post. Or at least the strongest trade is between those two. I have no idea how this works. Ah, yes, the ability, the shield enhancing ability of the. Uh, what's this one called? Treshgar. And then we got the Gortan, which are. here. What? Where are they? Basically, the bigger breed ship. I'm interested to know, though, why they didn't include the um, Breen capital ship variant in this game. Because I'm pretty sure the Breen and the show in Deep Space Nine had ships that are bigger than this one. I think. I could be wrong. They did have something bigger than this, didn't they? Construction or was this their complete. biggest ship? Nah, I don't know. All right, let's see. Um, we're getting some money. Most of our trade is coming from UA, this green one. Problem is it's got less allegiance, less develop development, less of everything pretty much because of hallucinogenic spores. Speech is complicated. Uh, but I'll be building a trade post here. Okay, this I got. So 149 was the number, I believe, right? Yep, 160. Yep, so these are affected by upgrades for whatever reason. Probably because they forgot, like, you know, they missed something, which is like. I'm a big fan of this, I mean, if your empire has acquired an enemy ship, it's only logical that they would outfit it with their own tech. So, yeah. All hands ready. Okay, now I just need to wait to get enough cash to... Standing by. Come on guys, just kill him. <laughs> oh, you poor bastard. I almost feel bad for you, but then I remember that you're a Federation scumbag. <laughs> Just like Ducat always says, better dead than fed, right? Am I right? Nah, I'm kidding. Except I'm not kidding at all. Sir? Alright, this one got fixed up. All decks stand so 160, and this oh, one's got 161. And Ducat has 126. Oh my god. So the Jalaxu is, a, is like a capital ship that's not a capital ship. That's brilliant. Except now I'm lacking uh, necessities, basically. Get us moving. Make haste. Come on, build the Nortype station. 
I need it. I need it to secure this planet. Also, why is this not being built? Why do I only have one constructor on this planet? Okay, this one's gonna be called... Ah, Terraknor! Except Terraknor was above Bajor, but... Uh, oh well. I personally be commanding all Cardassian vessels during this mission. Okay, let's see. This is as far as my scouts went. Our attack fleet let's have a peek, shall we? we speak. It's not an attack fleet, it's a scouting fleet. When I sign the pact of uh, let's see, what's, what else is going on in my territory? I Nothing much is happening here, which is good. Would once again be ours. Gonna get one of these and get another bug ship in the first fleet. Uh, da -dum -da -dum. I cannot comply. Damn it, they've discovered artifacts. And I still don't have any appropriate attack, do I? Nope. We are prepared. Our death is glory to the founders. You go there. <clears throat> what ships do I have now? I do believe I have all the ships I can get. Let's improve the Dominion ships even further. Engines. Okay, come on, Imperial Enforcement. Up. There we go. That's it. Even without weapon and uh, defense upgrades, this thing is still uh, a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> we must not allow fire. Where's my Jalaxy? Oh wow! For too long, These haven't even been captured yet. ...to the outrageous demands of the Federation and its allies. Okay, it's not gonna die instantly, but it's still... Okay, no, it is. It is. Never mind. Jesus... On board it, board it. Oh, now, now just don't die and return to the Alter course. return to the repair now, yard. New course heading. The cool thing about these Jaeger class Maquis ships is that, uh, well, first of all, the design it's pretty dope, and second of all, it's got the Tachyon Pulse Beacon, which is uh, essentially a free. Um, too long, have oh god, what was that? A free uh, Manticore class, essentially. It's not as powerful, but again, it can be upgraded with hull and shields. Let's see. Uh... Transfer all power to weapons. All right. Can I get another one? Can I get another one? Come on, board it, board it, board it, board it. Yes. Now just don't die from your own we from the weaponry. He died, didn't he? Some of a bitch. God damn it! You guys overdo this every single time. Anyway, uh, shall we summon Wayun? Let's get Wayun. Uh, and uh, military research. Let's see. Uh, Yeah, sure, whatever. Come on. There we go. Um, let's see. What will you have me do? Oh yeah, perfect. The first fleet only has one capital ship, so you naturally is going to be the second one. Which, by the way, reminds me. Standing by. Ooh, nice. 170, 176 damage. And these guys powerful. Also, I just realized. Yep. Oh, we got a Federation influence. More 
system is required. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, I'm expanding rapidly. <laughs> Construction so that's <clears throat> so that's a thing. Ah, now the main trade is between those three. Cool. And I'm getting more and more money. Which is always a good thing. Armed and ready. Okay, are you fixed up yet? Almost. Right. All sections stand by. I mean, it's also not bad in terms of damage, you know, for a cruiser. Because this is essentially a cruiser. Like, I got myself a free cruiser. Its armor is a little lacking, though, but, you know, we can always improve that with these. Which I'm about to do. Unfortunately, I don't get this one and this one, as I mentioned in the previous video, as well as this one, because I need the Cardassian Union for that. However, I now have access to this one and this one, which is a Dominion only upgrade. And this increases maximum hull points, which is always a good thing. It's always good. Always. Wait, what? Wait a minute, why do I... Why did I get four extra... things? What's it doing? Oh, by the way, I didn't even... Research this. Construction work is Wait, is this a large planet? Oh my god, this is a large planet. This is awesome. I can research it. Like, explore it, I mean. Also, music from Deep Space Nine. Hopefully this video won't get hit for it. Shit, I just pointed it out, which means it will, <laughs> inevitably. God damn it. Our oh my god, oh wow. Uh, <laughs> this is slightly a lengthy one because I got slightly carried away. So this ship will rejoin Dukat's fleet. And this is all we're going to do for today. And uh, we're certainly on the rise again after the blow that was dealt to us by the Klingons. Even though we won each battle, our casualty list was high. And we are now recovering. Dukat's fleet got a new ship. And uh, oh, I'm going to end this on a... High note. Engaging at maximum warp. Hello, Wayun. Victory is at hand, and victory is life. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if uh, you did, sh like and share and favorite it, and uh, subscribe for more Star Trek Armada 3, as well as a few other games. My name is Ben Oleg, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye!